New Volkswagen Golf GDI Facelift 2017 Review Volkswagen has given the new Golf a nip and tuck, and the GDI model gets a power boost as well, can it still compete with its rivals? Verdict 4 Star There are plenty of hotter hatches on the market, but the Volkswagen Golf GDI continues its march by offering usable, accessible performance in an economical, practical, and hugely capable package. While it's pricey, few models in this class offer such impressive quality. Rarely do you come across a car that does so much so well, but then VW has been doing this for 42 years and it knows the GDI game better than anyone else. Things move quickly when it comes to hot hatchbacks. When the original Volkswagen Golf GDI launched back in 1975 its 1.6 liter engine was churning out a modest 109 bhp. Fast forward 42 years and today's updated 7th generation GDI is producing more than double that, with 227 bhp from a 2.0 liter turbo. That's a considerable increase over the original GDI and 10 bhp more than the pre-facelift model this car replaces. In today's market, however, the most powerful front-wheel drive hot hatch, think seat Leon Cupra and Honda Civic Type R, is knocking on the door of 300 bhp. But that's not what the GDI is about. The GDI has always been the middle ground and a very capable one at that. As before, an optional performance pack is available on the Golf GDI, adding a further 1.5 bhp and a proper limited slip front differential, but the model we're driving here for the first time is the standard 227 bhp version paired with a 6-speed DSG gearbox. Before we get onto what it's like, there are more other significant updates that are worth pointing out. Of course, there are the inevitable exterior styling tweaks reshaped full LED headlamps now feature, along with new front and rear bumpers but it's inside where big changes have occurred. Housed in the dash is a new 9.2 inch Discovery Navigation Pro infotainment system which can be spec'd as an option. The system can be operated via gesture control or so we're told. For us, the hand signals are a gimmick and largely hopeless, the system leaving you frantically waving your hands in front of the screen like a conductor attempting to keep an orchestra of four-year-olds in sync. The new infotainment setup also does away with buttons and is fully touch screen, so you frustratingly no longer get the shortcut keys either side of the screen for ease of use. It does look incredibly slick but as an option priced at £1,325, it isn't cheap. Elsewhere inside, the Volkswagen remains a comfortable, well-built, and a pleasant place to spend time. Our test car didn't come with the Golf GDI's trademark tartan sport seats but they definitely add that bit of sparkle to the overall design, as does the new configurable digital instrument cluster. Overall, it remains rather sensible and safe, but spend a day wrestling with a Honda Civic Type RS infotainment system and seating position and you'll be begging for the sanctuary that is VW's take on the GDI theme. On the move, things are much the same. Low speed refinement is excellent, control weights are light and the ride is more comparable to that of a Mercedes S-Class than a Civic Type R. Despite performance being the main agenda for the GDI, these things are almost as important because in the real world the Golf is likely to spend more time plodding along a congested motorway than it is snaking its way down a sweeping country road. Power delivery from the 2.0 liter turbo is smooth and far less frantic than you'll find in the Golf's more potent rivals. A sub 7 second 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint is still quick, and in reality, more than you'll need on most occasions. If pub bragging rights are your thing, though, you'll be better off with the Civic. Approach a corner and what the GDI lacks in outright pace it makes up for in control, balance, and poise. This standard version does without a proper limited slip front differential, but the XDS and system does a respectable impression, mimicking the setup by nipping the front brakes on turn in. Push too hard into a corner, however, and you can feel the front end begin to lose its grip on the tarmac. Nevertheless, 
the GDI's front end is alert and responds keenly to swift changes in direction, while body movement is kept in check if you lock the adaptive dampers into sport mode. It's a hugely rewarding car to drive fast and accurately, while the chassis lets you know exactly what the wheels at each end are up to. A lift of the throttle or hint of braking mid-corner gives subtle movements from the rear end, which you can feel through all the major controls. The 6-speed DSG gearbox is efficient, precise, and quick with its changes up and down the ratios, but for maximum involvement it's the manual gearbox you want along with the 1,415 pounds saving it brings. There is a slight niggle, though, and it comes from VW itself. As entertaining as the GDI is, we know for a fact that it can be better. Before VW launched this updated GDI, it also rolled out two other variants called the GDI Club Sport and Club Sport S faster, lighter and more capable cars. The reality is that you can no longer buy these versions from a VW dealership because they're sold out, but the point remains that they are better and more exciting versions of the standard car retaining the GDI's composure while upping the ante when it comes to performance. If history is anything to go by, however, the optional performance package will take the GDI up a notch but we'll have to reserve judgment until we actually drive it. On a practical level, strip away the GDI jewelry and you still have a spacious, comfortable, and economical golf hatchback. The 380 liter boot is wide and deep, while a bit of underfloor storage is an added bonus. A 5-door model is infinitely more practical and will be the bigger seller but once you've squeezed into the back of the 3-door there is generous knee and headroom. Sitting 3 adults across the rear bench is doable, but you wouldn't want to spend too long back there. Key Specs Price, £29,280 Engine, 2.0-liter 4CYL turbo Transmission, 6-speed auto Front wheel drive. Power, 227 bhp. 0 62 mph slash top speed, 6.4 seconds slash 154 mph. Fuel economy slash CO2, 44.8 mpg slash 148 g slash km. On sale, May.